Okay, all set for the pool water test of the Curacera DuraForce Pro. Are we ready? So here we are, it is about 24 hours past the grand pool experiment, experiment with the DuraForce Pro and I'm happy to say the device is working just fine. And I have tested the speakers just as loud as ever. I've checked the uh, speaker up here to actually listen to calls just as clear as ever. Everything is running just fine. Now, I had this device in about five and a half feet of water in a chlorine pool for a little over 30 minutes and everything is just fine. Now I've got these little ports here up before just to show you some key things if you want this device to be truly water resistant you gotta make sure you have these ports thoroughly covered. You can hopefully see that there, that little bit of rubber there. So you close that up now you got your headphones completely taken care of. Look down here you've got the charger completely taken care of. So how does this actually work? How do you turn the camera where it works under water? I'm going to show you that just real quick so you get into the camera. This is super simple. Go over here to the menu and you can see over here other settings. I'm going to uh, select that and then here we have underwater detection is on and what, what this is important is you can have it where it just automatically detects whether or not you're underwater which was pretty cool because once I hopped in the pool it automatically changed the settings. But if you don't want to do it automatically, right over here in mode, I select underwater. Look at there, now I'm in underwater mode. And you see these little icons in different places? They correspond so conveniently to a button on the device. So, simple. Want to take video? I hit that button. Oh, look, I'm shooting video. Want to take a picture? Boom, I've taken a picture. Want to change some things on the menu? Look at there, there's the menu. So I can change the selfie, I can turn on the wide angle, I can change the aspect ratio, I can turn on the light, and I can also exit underwater mode. So there you go, a very quick test of the water resistantness of this device, and I have to say, I am surprisingly pleased. Thanks for watching.